DPP. Sustainable growth for all. Safety is inside in the all-new Subaru Forester with award-winning eyesight technology. Part of Subaru's advanced driver assist technology, eyesight gives drivers an extra set of eyes on the road with two front-facing cameras that keep a constant lookout and scan for potential dangers while you drive. Look at the house to measure distance from objects and alert you at the first sign of danger. The technology can even apply brakes to mitigate collisions. Altogether, Subaru's eyesight has six functions. Adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking, pre-collision throttle management, lane departure and lane sway warning, and lead vehicle start alert. This September only, the all-new Subaru Force comes with a big sale-at-home offer. Present customers with benefits worth up to $100,000, such as a special interest rate, special subsidy, and free first-class insurance for one year. Contact your nearest Subaru dealer for all the details today or visit worldwideweb.subaru.asia. Radio Thailand News broadcast from the Public Relations Department of the Royal Thai Government on FM 95.5 and FM 107. For advertising inquiries, please email us at radiothailand at outlook.com. In this is headline. A key contender to succeed Yoshihide Suga as Japan's Prime Minister has said the debate on funding economic stimulus measures that he has proposed should wait until right after a general election later this year. The remarks by former Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida underscore the rising risk of delay in compiling the budget for the next fiscal year as economic policy is in limbo during the campaign for Premier after Suga's abrupt withdrawal last week. In a surprise announcement on Friday, Suga said he will not run for re-election as part of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party or LDP. The party president becomes a minister because of the LDP's majority in parliament. The winner of the now wide open LDP race must call the general election by November 28th. Suga's exit has heightened uncertainty on the outlook for economic policy as contenders emerge to replace him. Kishida has said he would compile a spending package worth several tens of trillions of yen or hundreds of billions of U.S. dollars to cushion the blow from the coronavirus pandemic, which is surging in a fourth wave in Japan. The timing of the general election could affect procedures for drafting the budget and additional pandemic relief spending plans. The Japanese government usually compiles a budget in December after months of preparation. A leading employers group, known as the Confederation of British Industry, or CBI, said Britain must relax its new immigration rules to allow in more foreign workers and labor shortages caused by the coronavirus pandemic and Brexit. Since COVID restrictions began to ease earlier this year, allowing the economy to reopen, companies have complained increasingly of a lack of workers, especially in hospitality, food processing, and logistics. This has led to gaps on supermarket shelves and restaurant closures. A shortage of truck drivers has forced some employers to offer signing on and reduce bonuses of up to 5,000 pounds at 6,900 US dollars and official data for a record number of job vacancies. The CBI said drivers, welders, butchers, and bricklayers should be classed as shortage occupations for immigration purposes. This would allow easier access to visas, but also to employers fostering them to pay salaries below thresholds for migrant workers under Britain's immigration system. The government has called on employers to train more British people to fill their vacancies, but the CBI said that would take up to two years. It also said the pandemic and uncertainty about precise immigration rules have made it hard to prepare for the end of free movement for most EU workers on January 1st of this year. Kai Bank and Associated Groups have introduced a new campaign for Northern Thailand, known as Corson, in preparation for the country's reopening to tourists. 
Under the campaign, go trouble, go wellness. Trouble tell to redefine. Bunkai offers recovery loans at a 2% interest rate. And other financial services to hoteliers that adopt to wellness services via a digital health platform. The pilot program is being launched in the anime Gulf of Thailand and of area. Bunkai Bank and Network Partner Agency initiated their own package with an intention to fuel the transformation of traditional hotels into providers of wellness, an area with potential for exponential growth after the COVID-19.